I'm standing here at the former impoundment in the Pigeon River and today was a, a pretty exciting day for us as the final stop log was removed from the dam. Um, this process started about three months ago and everything that you're seeing out here used to be covered underwater. And we're really excited to see the amount of vegetation regrowth and see the river really find its new course. Um, with the final stop log removal, we're moving into the second phase of the project, which will be removal of the actual dam in 2015. Once that's done, the river will be reconnected, something that hasn't occurred in over a hundred years for the Pigeon River. Today we removed the last stop log out of the um, spillway in the Song of the Morning Ranch Dam here on the Pigeon River. And uh, it's a milestone event for this project. Um, it's the last stop log, so it's reduced the impoundment uh, as far as we can take it down now. And so we're getting ready to move forward into the next phase of the project. And the next phase will include probably um, a sediment trap in the river here near the dam and then removal of selected portions of the spillway um, at the dam. Following that, uh, the, second, the second and larger phase will be the total removal of the spillway and replacement of the bridge uh, so that the ranch can uh, have access to all of their facilities. But it's a great day. Uh, we've got uh, a huge first step completed. Uh, we've got the impoundment uh, totally eliminated and uh, we're on the way to uh, restoring this uh, Pigeon River back to its uh, natural processes. It's a good thing. So here on Pines will be leading the actual dam removal project. Um, we're in the process of hiring an engineer um, to help with that. And so the full dam structure itself, all of the concrete parts will be removed next year. Um, and in place we'll put a bridge to span so that the um, property owners can reach both sides of the river. And it's really important for us that when we do that, we have a structure that's in place large enough where the river will be able to flow through. I'm very excited to be a part of this project. Um, something that we really strive to do with reconnecting watersheds and, and looking at these resource concerns that will have a, a really long-term impact on the health of our water resources. We'll be able to access, fish will be able to access now about 15 more river miles of spawning habitat. Um, it's, a, it's a great thing for um, the river itself and the, all the creatures that inhabit it. Well, you're seeing a river form, and it, which usually takes 100 years or more, and, and we're seeing it happening in, in three months. You know, river forming its path, we're seeing these little tributaries come in, wondering whether or not it's going to stay that way or if the river's going to change. I mean you're seeing the banks form, all of the woody debris. Who knows this has probably been here for hundreds of years. It's just, it's, it, awesome. it's cool to see that but it's also cool to know this is kind of history is uncovering itself. Um, it's just a, it's a neat process to be able to watch in such a short amount of time.